back to my channel. I am Briss, and if you haven't subscribed today, you probably should because normally I talk about geeky things, but sometimes I uh, try recipes and I'm very excited about this one. So uh, today I am going to do an icebox cake. If you guys are unfamiliar with what an icebox cake is, an icebox cake is um, a no-bake cake that you put in your icebox, also known as your refrigerator. Um, these were very common back in the days in which they called refrigerators ice boxes, hence the name icebox cake. I recently made an icebox cake for my father's birthday back in July, and ever since then I've been kind of coming up with other ideas that I want to try for icebox cake. And one of my favorite things in the entire world is cookies and cream. So I decided to make an Oreo icebox cake today. <laughs> Um, the one downside to, to icebox cakes is that um, it's going to take a hot second for me to be able to actually eat it because it does have to sit for a decent amount of time in the refrigerator because the whole point is the cookie or cracker or whatever it is that the recipe calls for has to kind of dissolve in a way or, or become kind of soggy in a way and not in a bad way, in a very good way. So for this particular recipe, we'll be using Oreos, heavy whipping cream, and powdered sugar. Um, and I will be using a specific recipe that I found online, and I will link that below. I certainly am not coming up with my own recipe here. This is definitely something that I found on the internet, so I'll link the actual recipe down below in the description. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and make the whipping cream first, or the whipped cream. First, so we are going to need our heavy whipping cream as well as our powdered sugar to make whipped cream. Okay, so for the whipping cream, we will need a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. So here's our cup, here's our half, so I'm just gonna fill it to that wine, give it a nice little shake first, make sure it's good. And then this is brand new because we don't normally have heavy cream in the house. So let's give this a try. So we just gotta fill it up to right about there. Perfect. So I've got the heavy whipping cream in here. And now we need to add a fourth cup of powdered sugar. So not a ton of powdered sugar, just a little bit. This is also brand new. I hope nobody needs this for anything. If they do, well, too bad. You're getting less, of, a fourth of a cup less. That's a third. You know what's funny about this drawer is anytime I'm looking for a third cup, I can only find fourth cups. Anytime I'm looking for a fourth cup, all I can find is a third cup. It's a constant battle I have with uh, this drawer of baking supplies. Okay, done with that. So now we've got that into a large bowl, and so we are going to use a hand mixer to beat the cream. This can take a while, so let's get to it. And I'm gonna unplug coffee maker so that I can just continue to be right here. Sorry, mom's coffee maker. Oh, I'm supposed to gradually add the it'll still work. I've made whipped cream before like this, so Look, we're fine. See, we're good. We're all good. It's fine. It's fine. And we now have peaks that we can make. 
So that means that this is done. I'm gonna maybe just give it a little couple more, like maybe one more 30 seconds just to firm it up just a little tiny bit more, but we're pretty much there. There we go. See, that's just beautiful. That's just, that's just beautiful. That's just beautiful. Gotta love homemade whipped cream. And maybe one day this thing will work properly. I should probably take a lactate if I'm gonna lick this. Lactose and I do not get along. Mm. <coughs> Whipped cream is so good. I'm a good girl and I got myself some lactate, okay? Do it. Whipped cream is done, which means we're done with that and done with that. I'm pretty sure because I think the rest of it is literally just Oreos. Line the bottom of a square dish with Oreos covering the entire bottom. This is the smallest I could find. This is definitely not eight by eight, but we're doing it anyway. Okay, so we're just gonna take the Oreos. I'm so excited. Wait, we have these easy open guys now. It's not like when I was a kid. Mm. Mm -hmm. Fully understand I'm not cooking right now. However, the thing I like about cooking is eating while cooking. So if I enjoy a food that I'm cooking with, I will eat it whilst cooking. Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna have to cut some Oreos in half here because I need like hmm, an attempt to cut Oreos in half. I don't know how well this is gonna go, but <laughs> trial and error. Okay, right. let's get a sharp knife. Because you know, it's always good to trust me with one of those. Okay, moving on. And then we just, oh, that actually ended up working out a lot easier than I expected it to. It's still kind of crumbly, but that's okay. We can live with, well that one just literally fell apart. Darn, I'll just have to eat this one. Bummer. Man, I hate when that happens. Oh, okay. Next. Okay. Let's be careful. Okay. See, that worked out almost perfect. I'll just have to eat another half. Just like that, and I'll just eat this half. We've lined the bottom with Oreos. Spread half of the whipped cream evenly over Oreo layer. Repeat layering Oreos and remaining whipped cream. Okay, easy enough. Let's get a spin and just Okay. Spread this halfway on. This is very similar to the one that I made for my dad on his birthday. The one I made for my dad on his birthday was berry related. So it was a layer of graham crackers and then a layer of blueberries and a layer of whipped cream and then repeat until full. So that was what I made for my dad on his birthday and I topped that with blueberries and strawberries, which my mom thought was perfect because <laughs> my dad's birthday is July 5th. So it's the day after, you know, Independence Day here in the United States. And so it was red, white, and blue. <laughs> I did it because my dad's not really much of a sweet tooth. My dad um, has, uh, probably an eating disorder. I don't know, <laughs> but he just doesn't have much of a sweet tooth, uh, which is perfectly fine. But I remember him liking sweets when I was little. So I just don't, I just worry that, you know, anyway, that's not, that's not the point of this video. Anyway, 
So he prefers fruity desserts over chocolate ones. Um, I prefer chocolate ones. I mean, I love strawberries and blueberries, don't get me wrong, love them. And I will certainly eat a dessert that is just that, absolutely. But, um, you know, I will always take chocolate over literally anything else. Okay. So then repeat. We can do that. That's simple. So essentially what's supposed to happen with icebox cakes, and this definitely worked with the graham crackers, is having it sit for a long period of time with the whipped cream will kind of soggy up the cookie, theoretically. Um, supposedly this will work the way that it's supposed to. And so it's gonna actually have kind of a, a cakey flavor at the very end of it all. Like a, not cakey flavor, but cakey like texture. So I'm here for that. Um, they, I bought enough Oreos, theoretically, but this is starting to look a little, a little dangerous. I'm not gonna actually have enough, so I'm gonna kind of half-ass this layer a little tiny bit, because I'm sure I need some for the end as well. Because this ain't looking, this ain't looking too hot. I've got like three left. I only ate the equivalents of two, so I made sure that there was enough Oreos, but what can you do? There's three left in here, okay. So no more eating Oreos, I guess. Um, okay, so then one more layer of whipped cream, which will literally just be the rest of this. But yeah, so the, the science behind it, <laughs> science, I don't know. I'm not a scientist, um, but the science behind it, the, the uh, <laughs> dessert science, is that a thing? Dessert science. Uh, the, the science behind it is that the cookies will become a little soggier, giving it a cakey, a, a cakey texture, like I was saying before. And so then it's supposed to basically feel like a slice of cake without having to cook anything, without having to bake anything. So it's kind of an interesting thing, and it worked for the one that I made very well, actually. Worked very well, I think. My ring light just went out. So the rest of this video is not gonna have really great lighting, but that's fine. <sighs> it's probably for the best you can't see me very well anymore because this face is, you know. <laughs> Yikes! Anyway. Where is, haha, -ha, my favorite rubber spatula? I found it. And yes, I have a favorite rubber spatula. I think we had this conversation when I made the tri triple fried egg sandwich. Um, I think I remember having that conversation. Anyway, so maybe it was the first cookie, I don't know. I said it in one of my cooking videos. Anyway, so we're just gonna rubber spatula this guy and then even it out. And then I guess just do what I can with, with the three that I have left because I'm not going back to the store right now. Uh. Okay, such a lady, burping on camera, such a lady. I'm gonna quickly just grab a knife to kind of assist getting it off of the spatula a little bit now. Helping me spread a little bit more effectively because rubber spatulas are big and knives are a bit smaller for a little bit more precision. Should I come up with a CD? The answer is no. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm just so excited. I love whipped cream and I love Oreos. Okay. Moving on. What's next? Hopefully we crumble up the rest of these Oreos. It, it is. 
Let's crunch them up. Okay. Okay. So here's a little fun fact about Minnesotans. So <laughs> we are what's called Minnesota nice, right? There's a point to this story. I promise. Anyway, there's this thing called Minnesota nice, which essentially isn't nice at all. It's essentially just passive aggressiveness. So there's a lot of pent up rage when it comes to Minnesotans, just FYI, a lot of pent up rage that we just don't get to experience because we're Minnesota nice. We're the nice state, but in all reality, we're plotting your death behind your back. I mean, we're just being passive aggressive about it, right? Anyway, so we take our rage out by doing this. Of that like that so we're just gonna take a nice little ziploc bag not sponsored <laughs> and we're gonna take a rolling pin and we're gonna take out our pent-up rage out on these oreos never mess with the minnesota because one day we will all snap <laughs> thought about five people while i did that okay moving on So then we just go ahead. Okay, let's not do it that way. Let's sprinkle it like civilized humans. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This is looking beautiful, my friends. Oh. I don't want to eat it. I mean, I do, but like, I just want to look at it. So I got some Oreos left. <laughs> this is for the anime community. And this is for the friend that lived with me that never paid her rent and tried to screw me over the first time I worked for Geekon. And here's for that friend that I did work with on Geekon. And she decided to be a real bitch. And then this one's for Geekon. Like I said, Penta Banker. We just don't deal with it. Until we have a rolling pin in our hands. Oh, I missed it. Oh, no, I messed it up a little bit. Okay, that's fine. I got a little bit. I don't know why I put the rolling pin in there, but I guess that can get washed. Okay. So this is what I made. Look how beautiful that is. It's beautiful. I'm gonna take a picture. This is of course, obviously for the thumbnail, so deal with it. Work with me here, phone. Work with me, phone. there. Okay. Let me look at it too, just to make sure that it looks good. Okay. So now according to this website, now when I had did my dad's, I had to like let it sit for like eight hours. So according to this one, four to six hours before serving. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, who we're going to have to eat this in the morning. <laughs> I'll eat this tomorrow. Um, and obviously film it. So I will not look like this in the morning because I don't look like this in the morning. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get this covered. So I'm gonna get some cling wrap here. Come on, come out, come out. And kill the plant just a little bit by using a lot of plastic. So, life is good when you're destroying the planet, single-handedly destroying the planet. Um, I feel though as though, <laughs> because I don't use a lot of plastic in real life, the small amount of times that I do use plastic is not single-handedly destroying the world. I just like to make jokes about it, but I am also single-handedly single destroying the world because we need to get rid of plastic in general. Anyway, this is going in the fridge. <laughs> 
which there is no room for this in the fridge. Okay, let's find room, shall we? Because I really don't want to take this down to my fridge because God forbid I put things in my fridge. Anyway. Uh, okay, well, the sun-dried tomatoes can just sit right there for the moment. As well as the barbecue sauce. And the cheese of some sort. Okay. That should fit, and if it's perfect, I just gotta find homes for these. <laughs> How to put things in your fridge. That's what this video is now. How to play Tetris with your... How to play Tetris with your fridge. <laughs> That's precarious, I mean, we don't... I just want to put things in the fridge. Is that so much to ask? And the whipping cream, but that has a spot right there. I found a spot for that in a lot earlier. Okay. Now, I need to clean up around here. But essentially, we're just going to go ahead and let that sit for overnight because it's already 5 o'clock. Four hours from now is 9 p.m. Um, so honestly, it just isn't going to work for me. Um, I'm not going to eat something at 9 p.m. when that's normally the time I'm going to bed. Not that you can't. You absolutely can't. I'm just not usually hungry at that time. So, <sighs> we're just going to eat it tomorrow. So, I will catch you guys tomorrow uh, to eat a slice of our icebox cake. And I'm very excited. I hope you understand just how excited I am about eating this cookies and cream icebox cake because you know what? It's five o'clock and I haven't had a glass of wine yet, so. Oh, actually, I haven't had a glass of wine in a while. I had vodka last night because I'm Polish. And my sister and brother-in-law got it from here from everything. I would say my sister and her family, but pretty sure it didn't come from my nieces and my nephews since none of them are able to buy alcohol. And just like that, it's the next day. Um, I never put this wine away. And here is the icebox cake. So let's go ahead and dig on in on this. Curious if this is gonna work. Ooh, it cuts like butter, nice. So it seems that the cookie may have also done the same thing. So that's cool. That's good to know. Let me go ahead and grab a fork and try and get this out. I'm hoping it'll come out nicely. Yeah, look at that. Came out real nice for the most part. Couple crumbly pieces left over. But here's a good shot of what the actual cookie, or the actual icebox cake looks like, can we get it to, that's what it looks like. So, I'm curious about how it tastes. Oh my God, that is delicious. Oh, oh my God. Mmm, that is so good. I think I like that better. I think I like that better than <clears throat> the, <clears throat> I think I like that better than the berry one I made. But the berry one I made is really good too. Oh my, that was, that is so good. Y'all, I highly recommend this one. This recipe is really, really good. Um, so I highly recommend you give it a try. Like I said, I'll post the recipe that I found for this on in, a, in the description down below. So I highly suggest you give this a try. If you are at all curious about icebox cakes or how they taste, things like that. But this is, this is good, man. This is really good. And this has been sitting, I don't know what, we finished like five o'clock. Last night, it's almost noon, so 
almost 18 hours later. Mmm, that is good stuff. I like that one a lot. When my, <clears throat> when my parents get back, I'm gonna see if they wanna try it. My mom likely will, and my mom will likely be willing to do it on camera, so. Mm. We're gonna see if that works. If it doesn't, <laughs> um, then this is the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and so if you guys wanna give it a try, please do. If you like this video, give it a like. Um, yeah, I wanna keep doing videos like this. I think this kind of video is fun for me. And I just enjoy discovering new recipes, trying new things, um, and I enjoy cooking. I enjoy baking, I enjoy those things. Uh, I just would love to keep doing this if you guys like to see me continue to do this. But yeah, that was that was good. I really enjoyed that. Um, and we'll see uh, how well it lasts. I'm gonna eat that throughout the rest of this week and I'm very excited to have a nice little dessert every day. I'm gonna very much enjoy it. I'll see you guys all next time, bye. So there you have it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna do the outro now because I look better than I will tomorrow morning. But there you have it. I hope that was a delicious icebox cake. Like I said, I will go ahead and post the recipe down below. It's very simple, as you guys saw, very simple to make. And if you're kind of in a position where you can't necessarily cook or bake something or you know, you just wanna give it a try, I would give it a try. It probably tastes delicious. I have no idea because it just got into, put into the fridge. That's how editing works. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna go ahead and drink my wine for the rest of the evening, maybe make some dinner here soon. Who knows, I just ate some whipped cream and some Oreos, so that probably tied me over for probably another 20 minutes. <laughs> because, you know, simple carbohydrates with a lot less fiber does not keep you full a lot longer. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and drink my wine and enjoy the rest of my night. If you guys wanna see the time, I made the Red Dwarf Triple Fried Egg Sandwich with chili sauce and chutney, which was surprisingly good. Go ahead and click right here. If you guys wanna see all the cooking videos I've ever done, you guys can click right here. I think I have a playlist of all of them. I don't know, maybe it's just the other cooking video I did. We'll see. Click here to subscribe to my vlogging channel. I will eventually edit those vlogs. And click here to subscribe to my main channel, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single one of my videos. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna go ahead, sit down, drink some wine, watch Victorious because apparently Ariana Grande being on The Voice makes me wanna watch Victorious. I thought it would make me not wanna watch it, but I'm gonna watch it anyway. Enjoy your evening, bye. <laughs>